The Blue House, written and illustrated by Phoebe Wall. I love the illustrations in this book. They're very detailed. So on the end papers, if we look here, we see a neighborhood. And right here on the corner is the Blue House. You can see there's old houses, abandoned vehicles, some overgrown plants. The Blue House. Leo lived with his dad in an old blue house next to a tall fir tree. So we've got Leo and his dad. There's the blue house. Tall fir tree. We've got a garden. The paint was peeling and the roof was mossy. There were leaks and creaks. And when the wind blew, the whole thing shook. But it was there. So the house isn't perfect, but it belongs to them. Leo loved the blue house in winter with its hiding places and cozy spaces. When the old heater broke, they would bake a pie just to warm up the kitchen. They would dance. I love the relationship that Leo and his dad have. Do you ever do things like this with your parents? Build forts, bake? have dance parties. Leo loved the blue house in summer with its garden full of raspberries and tomatoes. He would play in the yard until the sun went down. Lately, there was all kinds of construction going on in the neighborhood. Big new apartments were going up next door and across the road. So here's the blue house next door and across the road, or sorry, next door. Yeah, no, next door and across the road, they've got new things going up. So this is next door and this is across the road. There were houses there, not anymore. Leo would watch the backhoes and trucks out of his window. They looked like tiny toys. Why do they look tiny? He's high up and far away. Yeah. I'm worried ours will be next, he heard his dad say on the phone one night. But Leo knew his dad was wrong. The blue house would be theirs forever. So when his dad is saying, I'm worried ours will be next, what is he talking about? Our house. Yeah. One day, Leo's dad picked him up from school. But instead of going home, they got ice cream and went to the beach. I got a letter from the landlord today, Leo's dad said. They've sold our house and it's going to be torn down. I'm sorry, bud. We're going to have to move. How are they feeling? Really sad. Yeah. How does Leo's dad try to make him feel better? Get some ice cream and takes him to the beach. Yeah. Leo was angry. Can you look at his face? Can you tell he's angry? Yes. He has his eyebrows pointed in together like a scowl. How could someone just take their house away? He kicked and screamed and locked himself in his room. They couldn't tear it down if he never came out. So Leo's protesting. He's refusing to come out so they can't tear it down the house. But Leo got hungry and after a while went down for dinner. I'm angry too, his dad said. So after they ate, they danced and stomped and raged together. They shredded on guitar and Leo did a special scream solo. It made both of them a little less mad. What I love about this page is We've got Leo and his dad. They're both feeling super angry, but they're channeling their anger in a really positive way. They're not hitting anything. They're not screaming at each other. They're dancing, playing music. He might be screaming a little bit when he's singing, but he's not screaming at somebody. So it's a really good way to deal with those strong emotions. Looks like the cat's angry too. 
Soon the blue house began to fill up with boxes. Every day, another familiar object was packed away. The label says Leo's room, kitchen, books. I would probably have to have like 500 boxes just of books. When the blue house was empty, it was echoey and drafty, like a hollow shell. The walls look so naked, said Leo. Let's paint on them, said his dad. It made both of them a little less sad. Should you paint on the walls? No, why are they doing that? Do you remember what's gonna happen to this house? They're gonna tear it down, yeah. So they're just enjoying it, painting something that makes them happy. The new house felt empty too. It didn't feel like home. I hate it, said Leo. That's okay, said his dad. Is his dad mad at him? No, he's letting Leo have the feelings that he's going to have. One day, Leo and his dad walked by the hole where the blue house had been. When they shut their eyes, they could see it clearly. So sometimes when you close your eyes and try to picture something, you could still see it in your mind. They could see it clearly. Hear every floorboards creak and the drip of the faucets leak. But when they opened them again, their home was gone. That night, as Leo lay in bed, staring at the empty walls of his new room, he had an idea. What if we painted it, Leo said. Good thinking, said his dad. Then together, they mixed the perfect shade of blue. And it made them both feel a little more at home. So in the walls of the bedroom, they are painting a mural of the blue house. So a mural is when you paint something on a wall that does stay, but you have to talk about it, plan it out. They didn't just haphazardly grab some paint and throw it on the walls. Little by little, familiar objects began to appear in the new house. After school one day, Leo and his dad baked a pie in the kitchen. Getting a little bit more like their house, like a home. And that night, they unpacked the stereo and danced and stomped and sang until it was time for bed. Again, I just love the relationship. They're, that's his dad, but they're obviously such good friends too. Leo had been right. The blue house would be theirs forever. And with each passing day, the new house was becoming theirs too. And now we look and we see where the blue house was. There's something new. So here are the end papers again. So when we started, there was the blue house. And now we've got, see that like pinkish beige house is there? That's still there. Where the blue house was, they've taken out the house and a lot of the yard and made this big it almost looks like townhouses. And then across the street here, there was a little white house. Now there's this big, tall building, condos. And sometimes that happens. Sometimes neighborhoods, developers decide to build new houses or apartments and old houses do get taken down. So I love that even though they were sad and angry, they channeled their anger in a positive way. What did they do to feel better? Yeah, they sang and danced. And when they got their new house, even though they didn't like it at first, little by little, it started to feel like theirs. The blue house.